What is up guys, gals, and are you awesome? Awesome means and gamers of different shapes and sizes. It is me, Josh Aguinaldo Proxy, bringing you some Rainbow Six Siege today on the PC, also possibly in the future some PS4. I've actually just bought that in the sales. £15 for, like, Rainbow Six Siege on the PS4? Why not, baby? And also, I think it's that if you buy it now too, I think, or maybe in the future you're going to do some an update, you actually get all the starter, like, Siege characters as well for free. You know, you don't have to unlock them all through the situations and stuff, which is really badass. So if you actually really want to get into Rainbow Six Siege at the moment, please do so because it is thriving, it's doing so well to gain its, like, footing in the gaming world, which is awesome because originally it was, like, a bit of hit and miss, it felt like a bit like half a game in a sense, but now it's really coming its own stride, and I love that I'm so addicted to Rainbow Six Siege, and I really want to share that with you on this channel too. But today we're going to be focusing on some Valkyrie, some Dokabi, who is the hacker, one of the year two hackers in Rainbow Six Siege on the attacking team, and then finally we're also going to have some Mira. This is the funny thing though, you may notice that I'm actually playing as all female characters in this video, and that's actually because I love of the female characters in Rainbow Six Siege. They are all so freaking balsam. And it's one of these really cool things too that we're actually seeing diversity in video games as well when it comes to everything. So many awesome female protagonists, be it in like Hellblade or Rainbow Six Siege or just, just anything, like even Final Fantasy. We're all getting these really cool characters. Like Dissidia, a lot of those female characters are so, so freaking awesome. Dragon Ball Z, I mean this is fighting games now, but it just shows that so many different genres of games have all these really badass female protagonists. And and again, Rainbow Six Siege is really thriving with that. It's also thriving in the gameplay too. So like, I ended up getting this on the PlayStation 4 for like £15. I already have it on the PC and I play it to death, but oh my goodness, so good, so fantastic. Definitely get in on this if you are interested in kind of like a more tactical, like Counter-Strike thing. It's just badass. It's just really, really fun without having that kind of feeling of lightning fast gameplay. Like you actually have to think on your feet because only a few shots will kill you. And as you can see, look, playing to my strengths as Valkyrie right here, using the cameras, playing defense. Remember that it's one of those things where when I play as Valkyrie, sometimes I do like to leave the room, and this is something that Valkyrie's really good at, which is that you can actually put cameras around, but then kind of like look around the building and then kind of like hide in a certain spot and then do like some kind of like assault back attack or something on the enemy team who are attacking you. But it's this kind of thing where sometimes you have to play on defense so don't be scared to stay in the room and do that shizzle like you may have saw as well that actually put the camera in the middle of the room because there is actually a camera in the objective room most of the time. But then like say if you have an enemy Dokabi they can actually kill one of your teammates, take their phone, hack it and then use those cameras against you. And oh, just like how there is so many cool female and male protagonists in Rainbow Six Siege, it's also really bad to see that they all have these kind of counters. You Like, each character kind of has that kind of like benefit against another character, or another character, and another character. So every single character has a justification, which is balsam. Just love that. Comment section below though, let me know who is your favorite character in Rainbow Six Siege, but playing as some Dokabi, this is actually one of my recent purchases in Rainbow Six Siege, because obviously you have to grind these characters out, but I really wanted a year two character, and so this is my first one to grab. She has the ability to hack, which is really, really cool. So what she can do is she can hack enemy cell phones, which makes them vibrate, which means that you can actually hear them in close proximity. But then if you kill an enemy player, as we were just saying from the previous round, you can take their phone, hack it, and then use all the cameras from the enemy team, which is really, really cool. The enemy team will actually know this as well because like a little like yellow icon shows up on the cameras too to show that they have been hacked. So if they want to like kill their own cameras, they can do that. So, and again, it kind of works in your favor because it actually ends up forcing them to kind of like, get rid of their own defenses, obviously through digital camera based stuff, but still really, really badass. And this is actually a really good one too, actually, because we are actually using the semi-automatic sniper rifle, which is pretty much the G3 carbine from Titanfall 2. Really weird that they've ended up kind of like crossing over a weapon. I guess it was just like form of inspiration or something, I'm not too sure. But anyway, this is a hostage situation. We have to try and save a hostage, and I'm using the cap. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Now, we do have a long range rifle. Do not use this in close range unless you're really, really freaking bouncing. You probably will be able to, I won't be able to. I'm not that good, but we are also able to use long range to our what is strengths in a sense and in, into our kind of like just success and so what we're able to do here is use the cameras Remember, we're using our own technology to go into this room and make sure nobody's in the room now the unusual thing here is that no one is in the hostage room. They're all trying to play defense outside the room by using this ballistic shield. Now, the cool thing about that is we can use, again, range to our advantage. So if we actually use this sniper kind of semi-automatic rifle, which I'm generally not very good at, we might be able to do a little duck hunting. 
He's gonna pop it. It's gonna be whack a terrorist. Let's see if we can do this. Get that imaginary hammer out and boom shakalaka. There is one headshot. Can we get another one though? Or will we have to actually push for this hostage? We do actually have a teammate backing this up. Sadly, I'm not using my mic to tell them to give me that backup. But we're gonna rush in there. We're gonna see if we can do this. Actually getting tagged here by a caltrop from the enemy team. This is one of the new year two players as well. Really dangerous. It actually ends up poisoning you over time unless you pull those out. Using the hackathon thing too to make sure that they're actually distracted. We're going to grab the hostage here and get the fudge out of dodge. My teammate has actually been killed while covering me. I'm going to rush here. I do not know where the fudge I'm going. I am drunk. I am so blind. So I think this is where we're supposed to go. Get shot in the butt cheeks, but I'm able to make it to the extraction point with the hostage. I thought it was a really epic one. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, I have to record this. It was just so, so freaking badass. <laughs> I was just like completely blind drunk, just rushing around. Now, we're actually going back onto defense now. This is actually the the final round, the match point, if you would, unless the enemy team are able to get three other matches out of the bag, but playing as Mirror, mixing it up again, rushing through these little intro stages, because, you know, I don't want to punish you, I want you to enjoy these videos, and so we're just going to go into the main meat of this. Now, when it comes to Mirror, what she's able to do is put up a... As you can see here, it's kind of like a one-way mirror in a sense. Like if you were trying to like, I don't know, interrogate a hostage or something, you know, and you'd always have like the interrogation room, then there's the blacked out window and you can't see who is actually watching you while you're in the interrogation room. But what this allows us to do is actually look out from our defenses. And it's actually good because you can actually use this outside of spawn areas. So the enemies also might come through here, obviously keeping an eye out on my domain. Anything that the light touches is my kingdom, Mufasa. But where is the enemy coming from? Now, I felt like they might be coming from this way because an explosion happened over here, but it seems that they might actually be doing something completely different. We also are lacking one person on our team. There are only three of us left, and there are five of the enemy team. Oh, and another teammate has been dropped. There's only two of us and five of them. Can we do this? Now, here, there is actually an enemy in this other room, and we're actually able to get one of our teammates to kill an enemy as well, which is really, really good. But I thought to myself, if someone's going to be sneaking in here, and I've got a close range submachine gun, a vector, should I say, if I go really, really close, they will not be prepared to shoot at me because obviously they'll be kind of they'll just jump out of their own skin the ghost will leave their body before i kill them kind of like it's, it's kind of like doing them a favor so here the guy they're gonna pump in here look gonna kill a jackal jackal's a really cool character just bought him as well 2v2 now look at that we have turned the tide of battle with my teammate who has got barely any health but remember using those blast shield windows to our advantage to make sure that we look after our territory but where could the enemy team be there are two more i need to get my teammate in here to back me up as well, because I don't want to be alone. I, I, I want to feel like I'm I'm looked after too. We actually got an enemy right here. Look, I think that might be an Ash, and she is out of there. So there's actually one enemy player left. This is it, everybody. Can we do this? Will my teammate die? Or will we be able to stick together as a group, an army of two? But wait a minute, what about these blast shield windows? Maybe they could actually come to some kind of use now. They seem to keep trying to go through this door for some reason. I'm not too sure. But can you hear that? Can you hear the rumblings, the aura of presence we have here at Twitch? Smacking down this window through that little gap valve and then there we go able to get that kill really good for those like little what do you say like ambush assaults on defense too really cool really fantastic but either way some mirror gameplay some of the cabbie gameplay and valkyr as well or valkyrie depending on how you want to pronounce it but flawless victory what did you think to that conversation below would love 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 to know it's been me josh aka no proxy bringing you some rainbow six siege and it's been pretty freaking awesome we even got mvp why not mvp later uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but either way, ciao for now.